If you're looking for an amazing bulb from South Africa, then Brunswickia josephinae is one that you could consider. Absolutely incredible flowers. And Jane from Tonkin's Bulbs is going to tell us how to grow them. As John mentioned, what you're looking at now is a Brunswickia josephinae bulb. It's what we regard as the queen of the South African amaryllids. The size of the bulb is massive and it needs to be really big like what you're looking at to be a flowering size bulb. So the bulb you're looking at at the moment is about 13 years old. They need to be about 15 to 20 years old to be flowering size. And you can also gauge that on the sets of leaves over the winter. Usually they'll have seven to nine sets of leaves if they're a flowering size bulb. The bulb you're looking at now, as you can see, has got a beautiful flower spike coming. Brunswickias need a hot, dry summer. So over December, January, usually it needs to be kept dry. After that, we usually get an inch of rain here in Melbourne that soaks the pot and that's what promotes the flower stem. If not, just water your pot thoroughly towards the end of January and once the flower spike comes up, water once a week. Situation and potting media are very important for Brunswickias. They need good drainage. So you need a combination of a complete potting mix, uh, fine gravel and something like a perlite to aerate the soil. Fertiliser they only need a little bit of a general fertiliser and a touch of lime, not really heavy feeders. So if you tend to overfeed a lot of amaryllids, which includes your nerines and belladonnas and brunswickias, you will get lush green foliage, but they tend not to flower. So don't be too heavy handed on your fertilisers at all. What we're looking at now is a flower spike that's about two weeks old. So they put a lot of energy into growing over a short period of time. So once the head has spread and the flowers open, they will be a beautiful sort of cochineal red. And that looks like a open umbrella. As you can see, the head's starting to spread. Each one of those individual spikes will end up as a flower and the whole head actually reflexes out a lot more than what it is now. This is now about 24 days on from when we first noticed, noticed the spike coming out of the top of the bulb. The head we're looking at has about 30 flowers on it. Um, it's been known that they can get up to 60 or more, so it will depend on the age of the bulb and they just continue to get bigger and bigger and the head sizes increase each year as well. Nature provides very well in South Africa once the flower head dies, the shape of it actually tumbles over the veld and that's how they spread their seed. Okay, Mum's going to now show you how to pollinate your Brunswickia. So you remove an anther gently and then pollinate the stigmata as so till it's nice and coated. And we tend to do this every two or three days just to make sure that we are going to produce some nice big fat seed. Once the um, head starts to die off and the seed pod split, you can gather your seed, which should be planted pretty much straight away in a mix of probably half potting mix and half fine gravel. And you need to plant them only about two thirds of the depth of the seed and keep watered once a week. And once your seed starts to germinate, you can liquid feed with something like a power feed about every three or four weeks. And then I would leave them undisturbed in the container that you are sowing them in for two seasons and then after that once they're dormant you can knock them out and pop them into individual pots. And from seed to flowering it can take anywhere from 15 to 18 years depending on your growing seasons each year as well. So that's it for growing Brunswickia josephinae, also known as Josephine's lily. You can grow it from seeds or you can grow it from mature bulbs. For more information, contact Jane at Tonkin's Bulbs. If you're interested in other rare and interesting bulbs, visit the website or subscribe to the YouTube channel 
for regular updates on some very interesting plants that you can grow in your garden.